uh, another quick short video here about these new GTT R56 oil catch cans. This is the vacuum one, this is the boost one. Um, we do them in red, white or black in case you don't like red. A um, couple of things here about the design of the can itself. Let's cover the more simple ones first. Um, both cans use a screw in drain plug on the bottom which has got an o-ring seal um, for draining it. Um, both cans use a dipstick system. This is far preferable to a, a sight glass type effect with a bit of plastic or rubber tubing in there which will uh, cause leaking which you certainly can't have, certainly not on the vacuum circuit and even if it doesn't leak you'll probably find after a very short period of time you can't actually read them because the whole glass or plastic should I say will have completely uh, gone brown in appearance. So dipstick is the way forward so that's what we've done on both cans here exactly the same design, slightly different length. Um, let's take this one out let's have a quick look. Okay that's the dipsticks there that goes right down inside the can there to tell you the depth. Uh, we've even put a little nice little o-ring seal on the underside here so it actually seals against the top face of the can itself. Everything's well thought out um, to make it uh, effective and easy to use. So leave that there a second. Right so on the cans themselves um, both have an inlet and an outlet. Um, this is the boost one. I'm going to show you something on here because what we find on a lot of these cheap cans is they just use a piece of uh, plain tube there, perhaps with a barbed end, perhaps they've gone as far as to do that, which is good. But basically it's plain tube. So what's actually happening in practice is the oil mist is going in and a fair proportion of that is actually bridging the gap and coming straight back out. Perhaps even more so on this type of can where the fittings are more, more near an opposite position. We've done two things here. Firstly, is these are not bits of straight tube. These are actually machines from solid billet, these fittings, believe it or not, and they do not just go straight through. Uh, I'll show you on this one here. Um, I haven't got one on the bench to show you separately, but basically that doesn't go, it goes halfway into the can. So what's actually happened is that there's actually a dead end inside, and the, the flow going into the can goes down to here, and it's pointed 90 degrees down, vertically down to the bottom of the can. So that's pointing all the oil mist down to the can, and in a similar way, the one coming out Again, doesn't go right the way through. It's the same type of fitting, but at 180 degrees rotation. So it's collecting the oil mist, or should I say the clean air, from the top of the can. So this goes down to the bottom, and the second one only collects from the top of the can. This applies to both cans. Um, can't see it so much on this one, but it's exactly the same idea. The fitting points downwards on the way in, and the one coming out collects only from the top of the can. We don't know anyone else that does that. There are other ways of um, preventing... Um, you almost bridging the gap. Uh, we use a different system on the R53 or catch can, but um, these diverters is the way we do it on these R56 ones. Now, in addition to these uh, 90 degree diverters, there's actually a baffle plate. This is welded inside. We hear stories about people that buy cans that are supposed to have baffle in them when they take it apart or cut it apart. We found the manufacturer hasn't even bothered to put one in there. Could have been a mistake, I don't know. But with our cans, there's, there's certainly a, a baffle plate in there. Um, and if we imagine this can here, that plate would actually sit like that inside, like that. Okay, so even if any of the oil mist is trying to bridge the gap, um, you've got a second line of defence here with this, this baffle plate, this deflector. So the uh, 90 degree diverters point the flow down, collect only from the top of the can to divert back to the uh, engine, and you've also got the baffle plate. So they're the two things that actually make the can collect, collect the oil mist rather than letting it bridge the gap. A plain can with a straight through fitting is certainly not going to do the same job. Again, we've covered the dipsticks, you've got the drain plugs. Another one, one we'll quickly touch on here, I think we touched on another video, but with the oil catch can, we do a rather nice uh, stainless steel mounting cradle for it. Okay, and that sits on the bulkhead. The oil catch can sits in there. There's a nice little band that holds it in position there. So, yeah, that's uh, more or less it on this video. Do have a look at our other videos, in particular one of the reasons for using the second um, vacuum oil catch can, because it's all important stuff. Thanks for listening.